Hello there YouTube, this is Sibbles and Bits back at it again. Today we're uh, playing Potionomics again. Just a little bit of a recap. Um, last video, they sort of warned us that uh, the boss of this week is going to pretty much monopolize certain potions, which is going to restrict us from selling potions possibly at all. So, did a lot of planning off video on exactly like how we're going to go about that. So, the main issue is is that we need money to send out expeditions or get uh, ingredients and we're going to want a lot of ingredients so that's going to mean that our insight potions are going to be more uh, more helpful we're going to need to um, make sure that we're going as far as we can in expeditions to make sure that we're getting our most bang for our buck and just trying to ride as close to the the inventory limit on them as possible and another thing that we're gonna have to do is in order to get ingredients we're probably gonna have to garden like very effectively so here we're just trying to get as much purple as possible because that's our main limiting factor we're getting spiders here we're getting um, the new I forget what this is but um, new pheromones here I believe it's Kraken pheromones because that's like 68 purple and it's our best purple yet, so this will allow us to push up to that next tier of potions that we need for anything that involves purple. The other thing is, is that we make money off of selling, obviously, but also completing custom orders. And we only get custom orders while we're selling. And we're not currently limited today, it seems. So, today we're going to have to use as much as we can to just sell a whole bunch of stuff then we can send people out on expeditions mainly because sulfuric balls has increased loot drops so we're going to want to send people there and hopefully everything works out right we are going to have to see exactly how this is going to work against us but we are going to have to be pretty frugal with our money and that might actually involve buying another slime bulb just so that we can make the ingredients that we need also off camera we went ahead and we changed our deck i was taking a look at that uh ferocity of the squirrel card and i was thinking oh well like we've been playing the same deck all the time and i'm pretty sure that that gets pretty boring so we're going to go ahead and we're going to change it up so we got two ferocity of the squirrels because we want to make sure that we have this in play due to the fact that it increases all the other cards that are played after it if we draw this opening hand that's great Opening act is basically just there because it's efficient for us. It allows us to play another card that we might not necessarily be able to play. And it also applies a debuff on them that increases interest just to sort of like get them over that limit. We have one enthusiasm here just for the purposes of um, trying to chunk our way past a heart. We have two craftsmanships because we may not be getting as much satisfaction ratings as we would like if we're playing much more low cost cards. So it's a decent card. It's one for six and it increases the price of the potion by 3%, which means that if we play both of these, it's almost an entire heart. One sympathy here just to add block. We got uh, two keep your guard ups just because it's block. We got two muscle memories because they're cheap. And if we play these while um, Ferocity of the Squirrel is in play, it's uh, relatively good. Uh, press the attack again just to get access to more cards because we only draw three, four, and five cards in the first, second, and third turn respectively. So getting access to those more cards is going to be incredibly important. In fact, what the heck? Hold up. gonna have to make a change here real quick I want for this we're gonna want pressure and pressure should probably replace pump up even though we have an enthusiasm the odds of us getting that wombo combo are very slim and getting pump up on like say a craftsmanship is three it's not that impressive like uh, the best one would be keep your guard up or our sleight of hand but uh, pressure is gonna allow us to again draw more cards for very cheap 
and just get access to a whole bunch of stuff and we're hoping to find this one adapt we only put one adapt in the deck because if we have two of them well we want to find them after ferocity of the squirrel so this increases the odds of that happening but it doesn't make it guaranteed if we had two of them then we run the risk of getting sleight of hand adapt and maybe even i don't know captivate on our opening turn and then we don't do anything and that's going to be quite rough i may actually take out enthusiasm here and put in the salt and pepper card for strike or strike later just because having another block is going to be very useful i actually think we will do that it's got the same rate as far as like um interest gained for cost Anyways, so what we're going to do here is while we are still able, we are going to sell a whole bunch. Oh, I guess I should also... So for brewing, our bulk batch is a whole bunch of just common poison cures that are perfect, so they're going to go up a tier. This is, again, using just a bunch of stuff that uh, is relatively cheap for us because we have a ton of it. And these poison cures are because, well, in order to go into Sulfuric Falls, we need to be able to pass that poison cure test, if you will. Here, we've got uh, a common shadow tonic that's going to up here. We gave it just enough with the ingredients that we had, so where it's going to up here into a grand shadow tonic, and also, like, it just barely doesn't up here. And at a six, we're going to get three of them. Sort of stumbled over that one. But uh, the idea here is, again, if we can't sell potions, we don't care about their star rating, and we want to make sure that they're as cheap as possible while giving us uh, as many as possible. I'm sure that there's going to be instances where we can sell these, but as of right now, what I'm basically looking at is we don't have any Shadow Tonics in stock, which means that we can't go to Shadow Tonic areas. And so just getting our second best Shadow Tonic in stock so that we can send somebody out there if there's like increased loot drops there or better loot drops or we just decide to send someone out there seems like a good idea and then we're always going to be in the need for health potions so just again some more cheap health potions it's perfect so it's going to up tier all right so we are going to arrange our potions and sell some so we basically just need to make money. And I'm honestly going to go down to like two on our magic find potions. And I would go down to three on all of our resistance potions, except for again, grand fire tonic is going to be used today. So we don't necessarily want to get rid of that. Um, we could probably do this greater silence cure simply because that was honestly like pretty easy for us to make and we could sell this better ice tonic also there's really no need for us to be that's actually a good point these were our potions from the last competition And so if we have a better value, it'll attract more customers. So what we honestly might, uh, I think we really need to sell that though. We'll do that. Because we're also not actively using these. And this generic fire tonic we can go ahead and sell, and probably this generic thunder tonic as well. Although I suppose it really doesn't matter how we do that, so... All right. Let me just take another look here. I 
This is better for potions, which this is a potion. Okay. Really not looking the looks liking the looks of our stock, but it's gonna have to do. Go ahead and save. That's perfect. Well, we are going to get bopped by some stress, unfortunately. adding stress? I'd prefer you to not. Okay, first let's see what we got. Walls. Oh, does Adapt get rid of our stance? Where the heck did that go? Well, that's terrible. We totally misplayed this then. We should have played literally everything else. We also should have probably played that first. Oh man, we're all fucked up. But we cat them out. So I guess in the end it didn't even matter. Seems like Ferocity of the Squirrel is also giving us at the end of the turn as well. Which is interesting. Unfortunately, we didn't have any um, one cost here, so we're going to have to go ahead and use this. Still money gained. Oh, we still have Ferocity of the Squirrel across negotiations? Hold up. Persist until another stance card is played. Holy crap. Okay, yeah, this is dope. Okay, so we're going to watch this. Also, it is not uh, making Adapt Deal 12 interest. It is making Adapt Deal 16 interest, which is significant. <laughs> Actually, I suppose we can watch that just to make sure this isn't a text error. So they should um, bring you up to 10, have 12 left. And it does eat. Okay, so it's... Oh, do we get the two? Oh! Let's go! Oh my god, are we a squirrel deck now? Oh, you had block. 
This is gonna hurt. And we didn't play that other ferocity of the squirrel because um, one for two is not worth it. Well, that's kind of scuffed. This is also our best potion. We really don't want to not do well here. us. <laughs> Customer loses an additional patience per turn. Yo, that is nasty. But hopefully it won't make a difference. It gives us one uh, or two interests, so we'll do it, but we're pretty much stopping here. Unless we stop here, because we block it, we block everything, and then we could get a sleight of hand. didn't. But we can at least do this. <laughs> Not that that did anything. Okay. Okay, we kind of got clocked on that last one. Give you a little bit more time. Draw a card. Um, that's not the card I want to draw. <laughs> not getting another one of these, so we might as well close this out. Did we sell that stamina? Okay, we sold the stamina potion. I was about to say, we just can't sell that damn thing. Alright. So this will hopefully be quick. We're going to go ahead and bottle this. Take our greater poison cures. And then we want to make insight. Just get us four of these boys. And we'll probably want those tomorrow. So this is... No, we're going to have to reduce this by one. All right. Go ahead, save again. I was hoping to get some custom orders there, and we weren't so lucky. Oh, hello. Well, this is exactly what we needed. <laughs> Otherwise, these are some good stuff. Especially this double here. Double good. And 
more purple. Yeah, that actually worked out quite well for us. Need one of these. And we don't really have any stamina potions for you. So I guess just get us stuff like this. Then how do we get you there? You're missing 25 HP. Suppose I should have gifted him before he went out. God damn. Hello? This is new. 20 red is nice. This is a good assortment here. You got some purple in there. These can come in handy for um, our bulbs. Because we have... Oh my good lord. Yeah, that's pretty good. I honestly don't know. Nope. Okay. And you're honestly going to need one. And the poison. Okay. What are we missing here? Probably, oh, just barely enough HP. Let's go. So we'll give you that. I mean, there's a slime. Not sure we want to give that slime. You're a fungus. Screw it. All right. Our ship is sailing. It's time to do civic duty, Sylvia. It's a good thing you're wearing gloves. Armed with rags and a bucket of liquid that sizzles and roils, Mint leads Sylvia to the heart of Rapta. They pause at the first shop they see. While Sylvia holds the bucket, Mint drops a rag in the liquid and uses it to wipe down the door handle. Nothing can withstand the caustic saliva of the mustachioed lizard, including nasty little microbes. But doesn't that also include this bucket? Because I think it's starting to smoke. Whoops. We'd better hurry and hit as many spots as we can. True to her word, Mint speeds through the speed, sterilizing as many door handles as possible. 
When the sizzling saliva eats a hole in the bottom of the pocket, narrowly missing Sylvia's boots, they call it a day. Ooh, feels so good to do something normal. Well, normal for me. The hunt for the legendary weapon has been eventful, but exhausting. What's the latest? I've been keeping an ear out for rumors, and I finally heard a promising one about a masterwork sword hidden in the heart of the forest. I tried to get a party together, but my guildmates were super wary of that part of the forest on account of the endless eerie fog. So I spent hours wandering around alone in the mist. I'm sure I was walking around in circles at one point, but I didn't give up. I have blisters to prove it. Did you ever find the sword? Yeah, but it was totally rusted. I guess if you're going to ever looking to stash a blade away for a generation or two, you shouldn't leave it in a damp mist shrouded forest. At least I got my steps in for the day. I thought your glutes looked nice. Must have been all the walking. Well then, I guess I won't complain. But, to be honest, I hope I get my hands on something soon. I'm starting to have visions of myself as a washed-up wannabe. If I'm not careful, I could end up being... I could end up like the very first hero I ever met. Your first encounter where the hero didn't go well, I take it? Ha, not for him. It was less than a year ago. I started working shifts in the family warehouse. My dad runs a regional distribution hub, imports, exports, mostly catnip. Wow, catnip is big business, isn't it? Oh yeah, cat pirates buy in bulk. According to the stories, they used to sail up and down the coast, setting fires and causing mayhem. Regular, dependable access to catnip keeps everybody happy and at peace, which is why it was a cause for concern. When a man came to our door and claimed our catnip storage facility had been infested by slimes, he pointed out the telltale trails of goo all along the perimeter of the building. My dads were pretty panicked about it. But this guy, he was a licensed hero, he said, a freelance troubleshooter looking for work. My dads were only too happy to pay him to take care of the slimes. As for me, well, you can probably imagine how excited I was. I followed him everywhere, hounding him with questions, watching him like a three-eyed ferret. That's how I discovered it was all a scam. The only slimes in our warehouse were ones he set loose there. Oof, what a creep. He must have been so disappointed at... Point of fact, I was furious, Sylvia. Really mad. I chased him off our property with a plus one stapler. Oh, fuck. Even then, without stopping to think about it, I vanquished the slimes he'd left behind. My first battle, and they were defeated handily. After that, I felt this surge of confidence and clarity. I knew I owed it to myself to give my childhood dream a shot, so I started looking for the opportunities to make a move. When Raptus Guild put out the call for recruits, I knew that I'd found the opportunity I was looking for. And unlike that phony hero, you're doing an incredible job. Thanks. But let's keep it real. I can always do better. That's what my quest is all about, gaining the power to level up. Then again, they say power corrupts. What if I get my hands on a powerful weapon and it changes me? What if I go all Darkmint, destroyer of worlds? Darkmint is fine. I believe you could do it too, Sylvia. Okay, with you in my corner, I suppose I don't have much to worry about. So, you'll keep looking for a weapon? Yeah, I'm no quitter, but sometimes it's not until your back's against the wall that you really see what you're capable of. That's when you break out the blitz, you know what I mean? Raise interest by- wait, 114 can only be played if you have three or fewer cards in your hand. Holy shit! What is this? That's incredible. <laughs> Can only be played if you have three or fewer cards in hand. So pretty much, um, it gets countered by stress and itself, oddly enough. And there's going to be uh, times when you're at the end of the customer's patience that you can't really get away with playing it because, well, you can't play all the cards available. That's crazy. One for 14. And we don't have to leave squirrel mode for it. Anyways. Shh. 
she can almost get away without using a... Like, if we actually wanted to, we could use this uh, Grand Health Potion. But we can almost get away with using two Common Health Potions, which would save us quite a bit. Because the other heroes really need these upper tier potions. Unless I math wrong. I may have mathed wrong. Oh, you need a Mana Potion. Oh, well. Meat Marp. Guess we're doing this, then. And you need three. Oh, I totally math wrong. But we don't really have... Like, 17 wouldn't cut it. Hmm. Alright, give me that looty. Holy! What uses red, green, blue? Any scoozy? Drowsiness. Hmm. So we'd be able to make good drowsiness cures with this. Something to note, but I don't think it's worth our investment because we need that cauldron. But, uh, as is customary, let's give you your gift. It's a fungus, not a flower. Alright. Was the one on the left? Jeweled Scarab. Okay, we had that as well. If I wasn't in a rush to sell as much stuff as possible, I would definitely be hitting up Friendship here to develop our deck a bit. That might be tomorrow, who knows. After all, we're probably not going to have any money. <laughs> Alright, almost done here. I feel like this 9 ingredients with 405 is what we're looking for, because we really haven't capped out our 325 ever. 
it's mainly due to the fact that we can only put seven ingredients into it. Now obviously if we go ahead and we increase the amount of ingredients that we can put into it, it's going to make it a little bit harder to keep that um, going, if you will. But I um, honestly think this is the move. Because otherwise, like, it's possible that that extra 20 Magamins actually means a big deal, but... I also wonder how these are the same cost. It must be their upgrade. Like, my guess is that this one's actually going to keep upgrading max ingredients. Which would be great, because then it'd be our new bulk potion. Do we seriously have two of these? That's gotta be a bug, right? Like, right? <laughs> we didn't just buy two of those. We are expanding that taste palette today. And after this, um, Sulfuric Pulse will be more or less discovered. Not saying that we have everything in it, but we're... It's not really worth pumping more shit into, in my opinion, because... I'm just sending three people out, two of which with good finding materials. If uh, there's still stuff out there, then I don't even know, man. <laughs> I don't even know. Do we have that, uh... Could be from... Ice Crags? No. Just wondering if we had that Feathered Slime. Alright. All right, so we did actually have another Celestial Cauldron, so, um, whoops. That's a 650 uh, gold blunder. Anyways, we were able to actually build our, uh, or construct, brew, our Grand Poison Cure that we need for the competition. It will be three stars because it's going to up tier. It's got, um, bad feel to it so that's going to cause a bit of a like a bit of a dilemma but at least we're at the right star threshold so we should be able to work from there and then of course since this is going to be like three stars we can easily sell these other potions that we've got here we have a grand stamina potion that is going to be possibly a little bit short I actually didn't realize that when I made it. Holy shit. But it's at least going to be two stars, possibly three. And this one doesn't have as many negative traits associated. One thing that we are going to try to see is these pheromones give bad, I believe, smell. And then this bulb here gives good smell. So does that cancel it out? Or does uh, bad smell just overpower anything else that we're trying to do? These can afford to take a while because, like we said, tomorrow's probably just going to be like an errands day. And uh, if we needed absolutely anything, we could go ahead and make it at the uh, the Ocean Cauldron, which is still just our, you know, like large batch cauldron. But, um, yeah, that was kind of a f fumble. Like, we easily could have um, just put another 30 here instead and made this work. Anyways, since today is the last day that we are theoretically going to be able to sell potions, we are going to sell potions. And we're 
probably going to try to sell that. I'm kind of conflicted here, to be honest. I also kind of want to sell this Grand Insight Enhancer, but um, that's also bringing people into the shop. But I suppose we're honestly fine because we're probably not going to, like, cap out the people that we're trying to get anyways. Excuse me? Okay, that is working. Tomorrow, I think we're going to go to the ice area, which I believe requires silence cure or drowsiness. It's one of these. So we definitely don't want to be selling any more of those. We can sell another tonic, though. I'm just trying to squeeze as much money out of here as possible. And since we're making better poison cures, we can probably sell that poison cure. Otherwise, our health and mana potions are honestly a little bit strapped since we have three heroes now. I think that this is pretty good. This should do just fine. And let's open shop. I went ahead and put that blitz in the deck. Hopefully it works out for us. Okay, we're about to get bopped. I also put in a second um, stress reliever in there because we are likely going to need it. We really don't have another turn here unless we do craftsmanship and then wait. This is going to prevent the next debuff. Um, that's fine by me. Maybe we just craftsmanship and then um, hold out for... Because we're actually going into turn four, so we're going to draw like, what, six cards? Which honestly gives us a lot of options. Maybe we don't want to play craftsmanship. But craftsmanship makes us money, so it's a little hard. <laughs> Well, we at least got that. It sort of paid off. This is horrendous. Is at least looking a little bit better. We are getting absolutely popped, though. It's a good thing we're doing errands tomorrow.
perfect. We only had to take like six uh, stress for it. Hello? <laughs> oh man, we can't afford to not do anything. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. I don't see us getting anything else out of this, so we might as well not get bopped for it. That is unfortunate. I honestly don't see us getting much more out of this. We're gonna go ahead and just finish. Nobody's giving us custom orders. We needed those. Increase stress by one whenever a card is played, and we're gonna have tension. Um, honestly, just get the hell out of here. We apparently made so much money. Now I'm sure we're going to see what this um, potion monopoly is going to end up looking like. Greetings, Sylvia, and please make no effort to sell me anything. I know very well the merry merits of your potions. Today, however, I am not here to spend gold, but I am here to tell you I am once again expanding my offerings. Human ears are very prominent, that is true, but as for my news from the state board, in addition to the cauldron, I shall offer to sale aging barrels. Placing a potion in a barrel <clears throat> will assuredly elevate its quality, and thus its selling price. It means delaying gratification for yourself and your eager customers, but as the saying goes, great things come to those who shop with much puck. You know, I never actually said that, but I'm going to start. An aging barrel could definitely come in handy on those occasions when I'm not rushing to get a potion immediately from Cauldron's shelf. I knew you would see the wisdom in this. Come on again and visit me when you are ready to begin. If you can supply the materials, I shall provide the rest. And Sylvia. Good luck, yes? This boss fin makes the hairs of my mustache stand on end. It would be good, I think, for you to trounce him. Increasing cost. Apparently I'm able to sell this stuff. Increased value for enhancers. Huh. Hagler start with sympathy debuff. Increasing customers. Increasing customers. Holy shit. Increasing customer. <laughs> increased value for ice tonics and drowsiness cures. Ice crags has stronger monsters and better loot. Hold up. Ooh. 
We're fine. So do we have a slot for aging barrels? Like, what the heck's going on here? Does it take a cauldron spot? We have aging barrels! What the hell? How does this even work? Do I still have to buy one? Okay. So. We uh, just made a bunch of common health potions here. Um, these aging uh, barrels here. We're able to take our completed potions. And throw them in here. For a single day and it will increase their price by 5%, which is, you know, not very nice uh, right now, but it helps a little bit. The thing that I'm thinking of is we can easily throw the potions that we're trying to make for the competition in here and just get another 5% on them, which helps out quite a bit. Obviously, we'll, we should be able to improve these either in brewing speed, or sorry, not brewing, aging speed, or maybe even value gained, but I don't know how many times that we can do this. If this becomes a oak aged potion, then oak aged potion plus one or something like that. I don't know about any of that, but. The one thing to note is that since it takes six, this would be relatively good if we knew for whatever reason that we were getting a marketing plan. Otherwise it's just, you know, we're sitting on these potions, we'd might as well age them to get like a little bit more profit out of them anyways we're gonna have uh, two of our three potions and one of them is going to be made tomorrow I really don't know like since it costs ingredients I don't think that there's anything that I can think of right now that we immediately need like we're in dire need of um, more. Maybe this daredevil pepper, similarly because this is how we make thunder tonics. We could just go ahead and just bump it up with this. We could actually go ahead and do that. We have these guys. I just got to find the ingredient hold up here. Throw an acid rutabaga in there. Oh, and I suppose, since it immediately goes to times two, there's really no reason not to throw anything in here. Hashtag, I am a fool. Yeah, I guess I'll put that in there. Just to get us another one of those. Anyways. We're going to go ahead and save. Another thing I did off camera is the deck. Um, so, the fact that Ferocity of the Squirrel lasts for the entire, like, selling session is pretty good. I think that we can almost get away with one. My main worry is that we won't run into it, but we have a ton of draw on the deck, so I don't necessarily think that that's going to be much of a concern. So then we put in a second blitz so that we're more likely to be able to grab that because it's just insane value. And if we get it on turn one, it's we can immediately play it. On turn two, all we got to do is play one other like card and so we're able to get a lot of value out of it. And we debated taking out Adapt because without two Ferocity of the Squirrels, we're not likely to go back on. But um, what that honestly might be is us getting rid of... Um, we got rid of one Muscle Memory to fit in the second Guided Thought. We might get rid of the second Muscle Memory simply because, well, without having um, Ferocity of the Squirrel in which we may not be able to guarantee without Adapt. We might need to get rid of those. So either this Adapt is going to go or this Muscle Memory is going to go. 
and we just got to figure out how we're going to deal with all that. Anyways. So everything's brewing. We're going to go about town. You punk soul brothers right about now. And today is pretty much just gifting everybody in friendship as per usual. See if Baptiste even has anything good. Naga's Fang. Ho. Oh. Hello? We already have a Rotter Melon. I don't think that we have the cash really to be able to spend on all this. Actually, I suppose we should um, get our stuff back first. Because that might give us uh, flowers or whatnot. We got moats? Oh, this is Ember of Mana. It's even better. Five slots. Sounds pretty good. Otherwise, just some creeping mildew and shelled pudding. So we already got most of this stuff. But the fact that she found seven vines meant that she didn't really bring back a lot. <laughs> Come on! Didn't I tell you to find rare stuff? All right. Just got to be a bit finicky with how we're doing all this. Oh, never mind. We got Naga's Fangs. And Bioplasm? Total Magamine's 96. Holy Lord. Okay. I think that this uh, jelly is going to be a good investment. It's a shame that we get the purple last. Anyways. Of course you would be about the fungus. You're a pretty fun guy. Oh, I need a mineral. Screw it. Okay, so not minerals. Say, Sylvia, how's your pitch? Before you ask, I don't mean how far you can throw a slime ball. I mean musically. Do you have a good ear? I don't know. Nobody's ever asked me that before, but let's try it out. Twinkle, twinkle, little potion. I'll buy you when you're on promotion. <laughs> That's a fucking mood. So, what key was that in? The right key. I liked it. Well, thanks for the compliment, but I'm guessing you don't have much of a musical background. Not only that, I've had a lot of potions explode in my face. My ears were ringing most of the way through college. College? You know, I missed out on that whole thing. I regret it sometimes. Did your career keep you from going to college? You guessed it. I got discovered young when some covers I put online... Wait, online? There's internet here? Caught a record exec's attention, which was obviously a dream come true. But it also means as far as back as I remember, I've never had a normal life. Whatever normal life means, good point. I guess there are just many different ways to live as there are people. Still, sometimes I feel a little bit like an alien, like I'm the only one who doesn't know a secret handshake. Money and fame opens a lot of doors. When it happens young, you don't always notice the doors are closing. But enough of all that, my only real worry at the moment is simple. The acoustics in this place are driving me up the wall. I was hoping you could help me with a sound check. It helped me figure out if I need to compensate. 
Sounds easy enough. All right, Sylvia, I knew I could count on you whenever you're ready. Whenever I'm ready for what? Well, to sing, of course. You want me to sing in front of you, the professional singer. It's the only way this will work. I can't evaluate my own voice at a distance, and no offense, but your ear's not discerning enough to tell me what I need to know. So, sing a bar or two? I promise not to judge. I guess I could sing about... Money. No, we're going to sing about food. Ramen, ramen. My fave dish. If I can get some. That's my wish. Ooh, nice job with the rhyme. I'm a sucker for those. Anyways, that's everything I needed. I'll make some adjustments. I wonder how Baptiste would feel about some dampening wards. Are you performing soon? Actually, I'm not. I traded shifts with the juggler. The heroes are going to eat him alive, probably. But I decided that I need to devote some time to songwriting. You're the one who inspired me to do it, actually. You remember our conversation in the market? That's exciting. What's the song about? I figured I'd start with the hero ballad. I think I've got a unique enough angle. But who should the hero be? I'll let you pick. An underdog. Give the people someone that they can't help but root for. Tug on the heartstrings, right? I think you're on to something. Thanks for the input. And thanks for helping me out today. You've more than earned this. What? Guess my singing wasn't so bad after all. You've got an inch to perform. I know a juggler could use an opening act. Either way, I hope you'll drop in again soon. Good hell's a fun place. And even better when you're around. Eh? What is friend? All right, crystalline forest next. Oh wait, no, not that one. Ice crags. Stronger enemies. Holy shit! Maybe we should leave this to the professional. <laughs> oh, fuck. What's going on? Here? <laughs> oh my good lord! Can we even bring this down? Like, what would this need? And that would still only be six. Holy crap. What if we took out one of these and put in... Like, she's not going to make it. There's no freaking way. Unless? No. That's a lot of loot. I can't help but feel, though... Like, Mint has much more health. But then she'd still have to probably use two... Mint's just not going to make it to the end here. This is pretty much as good as it gets. Because Mint would have to use two mana potions to get this far. And then she would have to use two, um, the two potions to clear the, the barriers. Yo, Zidriel's going to be full up. Goddamn. Perhaps it's better to just not do this at all, then? Hmm. One more mana potion would see her one bar further.
I like that. Thought I sent you out? What are you still doing here? There's something new. Weeping metal ore. I think we already had that. Yeah, I think we've pretty much exhausted most of the like main stuff that we're going to see here. Daydream palm? Did we have this? I think we did. We've got enough firewood to last us for days, though. All right. Oof, she's just short, actually. So if I was actually to send her out here, Putting a two mana potion here, it's still not clear this. So, um, all right. You know, that's pretty much perfect. That's going to allow her to clear. And then she just needs a three potion. And she's done. And she's done! Got to give her a gift. God damn. Sorry to chase you away, but I'm about to head down the beach. Can I join you? I mean, you can, but I'll be marking turtle nests to keep them from getting trampled. Not that, not what most people would call a good time. Are you kidding? Compared to facing another onslaught of demanding customers, this sounds like a dreamy vacation. Come on, show me what you get up to in your spare time. This is the spot. Thanks for navigating a, a path down the slope. Your footing's a lot surer than mine. It takes some practice and decent boots. Having the right gear is always essential. Gotta be prepared for everything. Apply reinforced for one turn. If opener, additionally apply resolve for one turn. Resolve is increased shield gain by 50%. Reinforced is reduced stress received from all sources by 50%. That's, um... Hmm. It's relatively good. That's doubly sure when you're dealing with customers. Ain't that the truth? Now let's get started here. We got everything we need. Pulls a bundle of brightly colored flags from his satchel. He steps nimbly to a loose pile of sand and then plants a flag in the ground. See it? That's a nest. Sea turtles lay their eggs in the sand where they're vulnerable to careless hoofballs and errant volleyballs. Not on my watch. We're gonna let people know where the nests are. Yes, save the turtles. Let's do it. Enthusiasm's good, but don't get too close to any of the mothers. They have powerful flippers, and they know how to use them. It's why this particular species is known as the slapping turtle. Noted. I'll keep my distance. 
the uh, stuff that we've been using the whole time were called slapping turtle shells. I thought that that was a little bit funny. The tie-in is nice. Uh, Sylvia steps carefully as she follows Corsac along the beach. He plants two more flags before stopping to consider a pair of beachgoer beachgoers lounging nearby in their towels. Those women appear to have depleted their stamina, and despite all the talk of being prepared, I'm fresh out of restorative potions. I may need to carry them to safety. Don't you dare. They're just enjoying themselves. Lying prone on the ground? I'd be worried about aerial predators. Maybe that's just me. It's just you. Suppose my time in the wild has left me extra vigilant. Have you really spent that much time out in nature? I have. Were you raised by wolves? Nothing like that. Although I did learn a fair bit from the wombats. So tell me more about it. Well... If you're going to be insistent, my folks were nomadic. Belonged to a clan of a few dozen souls. We rarely stayed in one place for long, moved with the weather, followed the food, never left a permanent mark on the land, and never took much more from the land than that the land could spare. Truth be told, even among my family I was an outlier. How so? Little ways at first. When the others gathered round the fire at night, I had offered to stand watch, sort of set myself apart soon started feeling more kinship for the animals than the people, even let a few animals get away while on the hunt. The mules could sorely afford to miss. Mules we could... Bleh. One day, I was sent to scout ahead, and I just sort of kept going. Always meant to stop and set roots so somewhere, at least for a little while. Just never really got around to doing it. Well, you're back in civilization now, you can afford to let your guard down a little, although, come to think of it, i never really seen you relax. Too much to do. I wouldn't know where to begin. Stop and smell that sea breeze. There's nothing quite like it. Yeah, you've got a point. Nature is downright enjoyable. One, it's not trying to kill you. That's the spirit. Take it from me. You've got to find ways to relax, or the stress of the city will eat you alive. In a place like this, you can only go so far Acknowledge on your knowledge of sandworms and squirrels and slapping turtles. Sylvia, I would never slap a turtle. Sorry, just some naturalist humor. Oh boy. I hear what you're saying, and I'll ponder it. But in my heart, I know I'm not the type to be idle. I can appreciate the sea air and the feeling of the sand beneath my feet. But I can help out the, the, these turtles at the same time. Fair enough. It's definitely a nice break from my shop. Just like I hoped. And hey, maybe we'll get lucky and see some of these eggs hatch while they're here. Oh, I wouldn't wish for that. The babies are vicious little beasts, and they go right for your weak points. Believe me when I say you do not want to get turtle slapped. And the beach is ruined for me, thanks. Can you maybe do something here? I mean, we could always brute force you through. The problem is, is that you're actually not going to carry a lot. So, and actually we can't even get past this first barrier here. So we don't want to go there at all. You could probably do this. But that's also just like send you someplace else. Yeah, that seems good to me. All right. Now we're going to talk to a lot of beautiful people, and then we're probably going to call it a video, because that'll be the end of the day. Now this is what I needed, a break from the shop and from the endless demand of customers, an opportunity to be pampered again. Why don't you join me for a manicure? I'm not sure I see the point when we both wear gloves all day. Ah, uh, but that's the thing, Sylvia. We aren't doing this for other people. It's just for us. 
Roxanne leads Sylvia to a local spa, where she settles into a cushy seat and invites Sylvia to sit next to her. Sylvia is skeptical, but she settles and removes her gloves. A nail technician sits across from her and makes small, light small talk while she waxes, brushes a waxy substance over Sylvia's nails. It's pleasant, relaxing, so this is what it's like to be pampered. Drilling noise jolts her from her daydream. Multiple techs working on Roxanne's nails have brought out some heavy equipment. The results are dramatic. I asked for the Glitz Creek. <laughs> Glitz Creek? I'm gonna have to steal that somehow. <laughs> what the fuck? Gold plating, embedded gemstones, and nails sharpened to a deadly point. Wow, that's a lot. Well, this is nothing. Just wait till you see the pedicure I get tomorrow. Tomorrow? You must really be rolling in dough. If a life of uncertain misfortunes has taught me anything, it's to spend it while you got it. And I may not have it for long. I've got my eye on an upcoming pirate chambery. The cover charge is extravagant, but stealing from other party goers is encouraged, so who knows? I might come out ahead in the end. Um. Kaiji Ultimate Survivor? Sounds pretty intense. There's truly no party like a pirate party. They tend to be dark and claustrophobic, and the more bodies you can cram on board, the hotter it gets. Um. Phrasing? It's like a little slice of the underworld on the high seas. The only problem is, I'll need someone in to mind the shop while I'm away. While you're away, how long is the party exactly? Oh, it's impossible to predict. They can run for weeks. Weeks? You can't just leave your business behind for that long. You'll lose all your customers. You'd have to start over from scratch. Don't you have an exam coming up? You're supposed to be getting your business license. Maybe I've changed my mind. Maybe I'm not cut out for staying in one place. Resisting temptation is a sign of strength. Consider this a test of your commitment. A test, is it? Hmm. I do have a bit of a competitive streak, you may have noticed. Oh, I've noticed. I suppose I've got something to prove, and I best, I can best do it by maintaining and exceeding my current level of success, even if it comes at a, the expense of a party or two. And since you're one of those customers, I'm supposed to be bending over backward for, here you go, a coupon just for you. Thanks, I hardly use these. Consider me a satisfied customer. Think nothing of it, but I should head home now. I have responsibilities after all. You and me both. I know it isn't easy to put your life on hold for the sake of your career. One could argue that my life's been on hold for some time. Besides, there will be other parties. Maybe there will be... Maybe there will even be one in my honor one day. Then we'll all gather to toast my success. I'm gonna mash X to doubt on that one. It feels good to stretch my wings. I pulled an all-nighter last night. I feel like I've earned an ice cream. That's ice cream with air quotes. I'm lactose intolerant, but I make do. Luna orders a cup of shaved ice. Out of an array of syruped flavors, she selects the coffee flavor. Then she offers to pay extra for an additional few pumps on it. Then she asks them to pour an espresso on top. That's basically just an iced coffee at this point. Oh, iced coffee sounds delicious. Let's hit the cafe on our way back. This lady literally can't stop, never stopping. But first, I have some news I wanted to share with you. It's pretty big news, actually. If I don't share it with somebody, I might burst. I'm all ears. Well, you know how I've been going door to door in my effort to sign up clients? Of course you know that. That's how we met. Anyways, well, that legwork paid off. I've got a brand new client, a big one. And this client, they came to me. Congrats. That's gotta feel good. It sure does. And now I get to shift from actively growing my list of clients to really focusing on the ones I've got. You, for instance. 
I don't want you to worry. I'm not going anywhere. So who's the client? Oh, well, actually, I can't say much about that until it's official. There's a trial period so they can be sure that they like my work before committing to anything. I had to sign an NDA. It was super exciting. You're getting paid, though, right? During this trial period? Well, no. But the work I'm putting in now is, will really pay off in the long run. I trust you know what you're doing. You've been at this for a while now. Oh, Sylvia, you did look at my CW CV, didn't you? There's no reason to worry. This client vets the people they work with, same as me. I'm sure I'll pass muster. And bonus, my parents will be so proud. Do your parents keep up with what you're doing? Oh yes, mom and pop are very invested in my career. They check in for updates pretty regularly. I think it's hard for them. I'm the first in my family to move away from our hometown. And there's lots of us. I have 85 siblings. Wait, really? That's incredible. That's not so unusual for moths. What's incredible is how accomplished all of them are. Most of... <laughs> among us are a dozen doctors, twice as many lawyers. I get updates from my parents. They're really proud of my brothers and sisters. And you too, right? You know, I think they're getting there. Like I said, the distance is hard on them. They worry about me. But when the deal with this client gets announced, oh, Sylvia, they'll be overjoyed. I'm happy for you, Luna. Thank you. Like I said, don't worry about a thing. I remain committed to the high level of service that you've come to expect from me. In fact, I've got a coupon here just for you. Whoa! A coupon? Wow, you really do get me. I knew you'd like it. I pride myself on customer care after all. We're just getting coupons! All right. Man, I'm screwing this up. I had this at one point. so peaceful here what if I just stuck around instead of going back to the shop you're welcome to although I may have to put you to work how are you at wood joinery have you mastered the half bind dovetail mortise and tenon to be honest I'm not sure wood joinery is a particular talent of mine I'm teasing you're welcome to just relax here I try to make my friends feel welcome and my customers too it's important to establish a meaningful and deep connection so they don't feel rushed out the door Increase patience by four can only be played if you have no other cards in your hand. What the heck? What's going on here? <laughs> this is just... Okay, this isn't technically a better muscle memory. The main thing to note here is that until we get access to discard, stress completely kiboshes this. So... If you're in, stressed in any way, you have a chance of drawing a stress card. If this gets drawn at the same time, you don't get to play it. So it's basically another stress card. Thanks for the tip. The pleasure's mine, and while you really are welcome to hang around here, I had a notion to see more of the sights. And no trip into town is the same without the companionship of my favorite tour guide. Oh, I'm your favorite? I'm also probably your only tour guide. People at work try that shit on me. They're like, hey, you're my favorite inventory control manager. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm the only one. Ah, oh, it's not so crowded down here. The breeze is pleasant. I can see why people like the beach. We were just at the beach. Be careful of slapping turtles. Even if it looks a bit naked without any trees. safer than the forest, though. 
There's nowhere for monsters to hide. As I recall, the thing about civilization is that monsters can hide in plain sight. Well, that's deep. I'm sorry, that was negative of me. To be honest, I think the looming skull over there has unnerved me. Saffron cannot seem to pull her eyes away from the massive kraken skull sitting in the shallows. It's a curious sight, to be sure. But Saffron's expression isn't one of curiosity. I had forgotten they just left that thing there. I kept thinking someone would remove it. It's been 20 years since a band of heroes landed on this beach intent on hunting down the island's wicked queen. 20 years since those heroes slayed the queen's pet kraken at great cost to themselves in the town. Many lives were lost that day and the kraken's corpse was left to rot. Now the island populated once more, the locals are treating the skull like some sort of monument. That's the thing be What's the thing behind that, you reckon? It's important to memorialize our fallen, heroes and civilians both. If we pledge to never forget them, then their deaths won't have been in vain. You have a good heart, Sylvia, and I like that you see good intentions at play here. But I can't help but think that the skull is a morbid choice of memorial. I've tried very hard to put the memory of that dark day behind me. Hold on, do you mean... Saffron, were you that? Were you there that day? I was. I can't believe you were here. What was it like? I'd rather not get into it. In fact, I think I'd rather better head home. I'm sorry, Sylvia. I don't mean to be dramatic. And you've done nothing wrong. But I know I'm bound to be poor company, and I'd prefer to spare you that. You enjoy the beach, and I'll see you another day, okay? Oh, man! Let's go. I think we're out of stuff to do. Okay. So we're going to get cutscene here. Wrap it up. Call it a day. Increased value for tonics. The Shadow Step has more loot drops. Ice Crag has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. Crystalline Forest has weaker monsters and decreased loot drops. Okay. I get you, game. Bada bing. That's a grand potion cure right there. Bada bang. Stuff. All right. Collect that. Collect that. All right. What uses BCD? Do I need it? Alertness enhancers. Relatively useful. Alright then.
uses AD. Ice tonics. Okay. Alright, feeling pretty good about that. And we get these out of ice crags, that's interesting. Anyways, let's go ahead and save here. No, my money. So, that's probably going to be the video. It's hopefully going to be around one and a half hours by the time that I cut out all the potioneering and all that. The chores, if you will. And, um... Honestly, I'd really like to hear some feedback if you guys got it on the length of these videos and the content of these videos. So I had to do a lot of debating about what I'm going to cut out. And I feel like I'm also going to cut out like buying ingredients because the way I see it, the actual like meat of the game is you know, like the inventory management and doing all that. So I could see how people might be upset about like not seeing that. But I also feel like a lot of people here are, well, at this point in the, the series, right? If you are interested in the game, you're probably going to get the game and then you're going to figure that out yourself. Maybe some people aren't really keen on that, but you're also going to get random ingredients compared to me. So it's not like it's a walkthrough or anything. The other thing is, is that um, a lot of people are probably trying to avoid buying a, uh, you know, a $30 game. And I can see that too. Uh, there's a bunch of, um, I like horror games, but I don't have like the money to buy every single horror game. So uh, those are generally the videos that I watch people play because all I really care about in the horror game is the atmosphere, like how their tension how they go about their writing and stuff like that. And I can get that out of a YouTube video. So if you guys are in here for the narrative portion of the game, which is a large portion of it when I um, am reading stuff out loud, then that's going to be a majority of what I can keep up. And then you guys can just go ahead, watch slash read through everything and get the content that you're looking for out of the game. But as far as like, you know, the spreadsheet warrior nature of like running the shop, I like I wouldn't want to watch that, but it's certainly the most interesting part of the game for me. So again, just hearing what you guys feel about that. Anyways, if you have any other feedback, be it questions, concerns, comments, misplay alerts, be sure to put that down in the comments below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys around.